no you're not so we have our new workshop assistant and i was explaining to her about all the different types of nuts we use and so i'm gonna do a record that will help any of you guys and girls out there who are on your apprenticeships and you need to know the terms and what different sorts of nuts look like so this isn't gonna be the total in-depth because there's various things there's different threads there's imperial there's metric there's different materials this really is the different sorts of shapes of nuts different types of nuts and we'll start with the commonal garden nut so that is a nut we will use and they're cheap and they do the job you thread that on and it's good right now sometimes you haven't got much room and they do this what I believe is called a thin nut. There you go, so nuts come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and that is a thin nut. Sometimes you might have two nuts, two thin nuts that you lock together, and that's a, a technique for stopping things vibrating loose, but we'll talk about that another time. So that is a thin nut, but you also get a, a connector nut, and this is where you've got two bits of threaded bar, you screw one in the other and one in the other side, and you often use them in buildings and shops where they put air conditioning units in and they hang everything from the ceiling. They'll have one bar coming down and then they'll screw it to another and they'll meet in the middle and that's a connector nut. And we've used those on, on various projects. Now, if you don't want water getting in the end, because normally when you put a, a bolt through, the water can get in the end, or if you want it to look nice, you could put a cap nut on your project and you can see that is closed at the end, so you don't see the bolt coming through. And that is that has its uses too. Or you may want to go for a dome nut, which is more domey in shape at the top. And again, that has its uses. That's If that's in an area where you've got some traffic or people walking past, that gives a nice finish, a dome nut. And you've got a little bit more thread inside a dome nut. So there we go, dome nut. Flange nut. So as it comes down, this spreads the force over a bigger area and stops the nut digging into the material. So there you go, that's a flange nut, that's nice. Um, saves you having to put a flat washer between it because it's sort of got the washer built in. Square nut, sometimes you use a square nut, often they'll sit in a channel, the square nut, um, and you get a lot of grip on that. So you'll often see square nuts that will slide into an extrusion and hold it as you bolt something in. And they could be uh, in different shapes and sizes. That could, be, I don't know if you call that a slot nut or, but they, you can see different shapes that fit into different places and hold it there. This is a wing nut. So this is one you can easily undo by hand. So something that needs to be undone by hand from time to time, a wing nut is a good solution. There you go, a wing nut. This is a castle nut. And this, you put it through a bolt and the bolt has a hole through it and you can put a bit of wire or a split pin, split pin most common, through the nut. And then because it's going through a hole in the bolt, this can't rotate. So it's quite good when you don't want it to be too tight because you can do it up loosely. So it's just, and then you can put the split pin through and it will, it will never come undone. There you go. Right, you could get an eye bolt hook nut so that's if you want to, at the end of a bolt, give yourself a lashing point, you could fit a eye nut on there. Right, nuts do vibrate loose. So one technique to stop nuts vibrating loose is a nylock nut. And it's called a nylock because it's got this nylon blue insert in. So as the bolt comes through, and you always have to thread it on this way, as you, it will thread in freely, but then when it gets to the blue part, it's got to sort of cut its own thread in the blue part, and that means it won't vibrate loose, but it also means when you spin it on, it takes longer to get it on because you can't just spin it on and then tighten it up. You have to work it all the way as the bolt comes through this blue nylon section. Right, this in many ways is my favorite nut. This is a stainless steel nylon nut with a flange, so it's a flange nylock nut, but it, instead of the flange being smooth, it's got these serrations. And these dig into the surface and also additionally stop it coming loose. So this is like the king of nuts. I loved flange serrated nylock nuts. Look at that. Right, this is an interesting little one. This is an anti-theft nut or a shear nut. And you see it's threaded here, but not at the top section. And what you do is you thread that over your bolt. That can be my bolt for now. And then as you tighten it, as it gets tight, 
this top bit breaks away because you can see it's just a narrow section and it leaves just the conical nut which you can't get a spanner on so no one can steal it. So there you go, a shear nut. Um, they're quite useful for anti-theft applications. Right, this is an interesting nut. It's a nylock. I can see it's not blue, but I can see a nylon insert. And on this one, the washer, the washer is free to spin. I don't actually know what the flash name for that is. It's a sort of integrated washer nylock nut. Um, this one is a rib nut, and these especially you need a special tool to insert these, and these collapse and form a captive nut. Um, but again, look up rib nuts. But if you see one of those, that's an uninserted rib nut. Wheel nuts, they're an interesting nut. So obviously these hold wheels on cars. So obviously this has got a nice cap on it. Sometimes they're open-ended. This is an open-ended. And they normally got a taper on them. And you need to get the right taper to fit the wheels. There you go. So there's some wheel nuts. There's another nice capped wheel nut with a taper on. Chrome finish there. Razzle dazzle. Lug nuts. So sometimes you've got a sheet of metal and you can clip this over the sheet. I'm not going to clip it over that like so. You could clip it over the sheet and then what it does is it forms a captive nut that you, you have a hole in the sheet and then you can put the bolt through and it as it gets tighter it clamps it against the sheet. So that's quite a good nut. Um, this one here is a connector nut. Again, I, I've heard that called connector nut and this. But this is often used in furniture where you have a bolt and it gives you two heads that move together. So there you go. Know your nuts. That's my introduction to nuts. What's your favourite nut? Let us know.